Well, hello YouTube. My nick is Hyperlative, and I'm bringing you some gameplay from Medal of Honor. Here I'm playing Team Assault on uh, Kabul City Ruins. And, um, well, this is my first uh, gameplay slash commentary video. I've been uh, watching some of them on YouTube for a while and uh, thought I'd make some of my own. Now, I'm not the best player in the world, but I think that you'd find my gameplays interesting still. So, what I'm playing here is as a sniper with the SVD battle rifle with the red dot sight and open tip ammo. However, I'm mostly using my sidearm, the Tariq pistol, because it's really awesome. Um, the sidearm is dead accurate and does a fair amount of damage, so if you're fast on the trigger finger, uh, you'll actually be able to do a pretty good amount of um, damage with it. Uh, the reason I think you'll actually find me, or rather my gameplay recordings interesting, is because of the uh, special gameplay or playstyle that I have. Uh, what I'll usually do in this game is really rush the enemy. Uh, most people tend to camp in this game, uh, largely because it really is a game that... It really ties you down to cover, so instead of moving from cover to cover, people really tend to just sit in one place and wait for people to come to them. So that's really what I do. I try to be aggressive and break enemy ranks, and once I'm behind enemy lines, I'll go on a melee killing spree and just melee everyone I see. Uh, the reason I'm uh, mostly taking people out with the uh, melee attack is because it's silent and you don't see me showing up on the radar. Oh, that's really unfair. I shouldn't have gotten that one. Of course I could run around with a silenced weapon, and I did that for a while, but I really found that I really preferred the pistol. And the reason I'm running around with the uh, cyber class is because I get two grenades, and later on I'll get three grenades when I reach that rank. I haven't done that yet. Partly because I'm not that good of a player, and partly because I didn't play with uh, the sniper for that. Uh, I haven't used that class for long. I usually played uh, Assault, or Rifleman, or Spec Ops, but I decided that um, I'd rather use Sniper for this. Yeah. So right now I'm just running around looking for easy kills, and I see two guys here. I can't really decide who to take out first. Then I end up taking out none of them, so... And that guy disappears, probably gets shot by my teammate. Yeah, so here I actually hear him come running, but I thought he would come around with the stairs, not inside the building, so... Oh, look at this guy, just asking to be killed. I decided not to take this guy out. As you can see, I'm <laughs> it's hopeless. I see that guy and I run away because I think he sees me because he comes in a really good position to take me out. So I try to flank him and for some reason I actually do. I don't know what his, he was thinking there and I'm even more surprised he didn't hear me. I guess the footsteps is pretty low in this game but still should be able to hear me by a headset. So here I see two guys on the minimap, and I try to take them out, but one gets tubed, and the other one gets shot by my teammate, so I get none of them. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm actually playing this on the PC, notice the mouse, um, instead of playing it on console, which most YouTube gameplay slash commentaries do. Uh, so, I guess the gameplay is a little bit different from what they've they're used to or what you're used to watching and uh, I know at least the uh, the melee is actually easier to do on the PC 
especially with my with my controller set up it's really it really is I didn't know that that, that guy was uh, was there so was just really lucky <laughs> that he didn't take me out had he been just a second earlier he would take me out because I don't check there so if they camp there I won't see him Ah, uh, this guy I actually see. So first I'm thinking he's up, and then I'm thinking he's downstairs, then upstairs again. You see him on the, the mini-map, yeah. And here's another one. And I'm just waiting for him, because I know he's coming. And I hear him running. And I al almost miss him. And instead of shooting him, I actually run for a melee kill. And for a while there, I'm thinking about changing my mind, but I'm glad I didn't, because he would have taken me out, no doubt. Ah yes, uh, when it comes to the support actions, I'm actually a heavy user of the defensive one. And that is mostly because that's the one that I benefit from the most. I see people sometimes just using the, the offensive support actions on random spots on the map, or rather places where people tend to populate. But if you're not insured at least two kills, don't use the offensive support action. Just just don't. Because if you use the defensive one instead, firstly you'll get just as much points as if you would were to kill two people. Or you might even get more. And you'll be helping out the rest of your team. And especially the first one, the Intel slash UAV. That one helps out greatly, especially in this game, since no one can hide from the um, from the the UAVs in this game. There is no cold-blooded or camouflage or something like that. So what I do here is go an alternate route because the other one is so populated, and it's really just a long stretch. Oh, I almost missed that. Just a long stretch and. Well, it's not really safe. I'm really glad I didn't go for that guy because the one I really took down would have gotten me easily. But he was, thank God, reloading. So I missed this guy and he takes me out. And I'm really pissed off about this because I really think I should have gotten that guy. But there's nothing to it. Once again, I'm not running out there. Too heavily populated. Uh, another thing that I want to mention is never run into the middle of the map. That is just the first first tip of the day, I guess. And there, I miss him once again. He has some kind of uh, protective shield around him that won't let me kill him with uh, the axe. Well, as I said, n never really run into the middle of the map because then you're just going to get flanked as easy as hell. Because that's where everyone looks looks to and people running in there are just asking to get killed. So that's the end of the match um, and um, my final score is 19 and 8 and that's it for the first commentary. So I hope to uh, see you again. Rate, comment and subscribe as they say.